Hi everyone and welcome to this week's phase one quiz. As always there's five rounds with five questions in. Look out for a new phase reading some of the questions this week. Make sure you've got your pens and papers ready and let's get started. Good luck, hope you do really well. Hello everyone, it's Miss Binning here and I've got some questions to ask you about maths for the maths round of the quiz. Okay, question one. What is 10 add 4? What is 10 add 4? Okay, time for question two. What number comes next? 8 Seven, six, five. What comes next? Eight, seven, six, five, and then something. What number comes next? Question three. I'm going to describe something to you. What am I? I oh, well, I'm a shape, and I have four sides. And I have four corners, and all my sides are the same size. What am I? What am I? I am a shape. I have four sides, I have four corners, and all my sides are the same size. What shape am I? Okay, question number four. Got to get some props for this one. What is taller? Is it my tin of beans or my washing up liquid? Which one is taller? Is it my tin of beans or my washing up liquid? And question five, the last question for your maths round is what is 12 subtract 6? What is 12 subtract 6? Okay, question 1. What is 10 add 4? The answer is 14. 10 add 4 is 14. And for question 2. What number comes next? 8, 7, Six, five, the answer is a four. Eight, seven, six, five, we're going backwards, four. Question three, what am I? Oh, well, I'm a shape and I have four sides and I have four corners and all my sides are the same size. The answer is square. I am a square. Squares have got four sides, four corners, and of course, most importantly, all the sides are the same size. Okay, question number four. Got to get some props for this one. What is taller? Is it my tin of beans or my washing up liquid? The answer to question four is my washing up liquid. It's a little bit taller than my beans. Question five, the last question for your maths round is, what is 12 subtract six? And the answer to number five is six. 12 subtract six equals six. Hope you got on all right. Well done, see you soon. Welcome to the animals round. There's going to be five questions. Let's get started. Question one. Where would you be visiting if you could see monkeys, giraffes, elephants and tigers? Where would you be visiting if you could see monkeys, giraffes, elephants and tigers? Question two. How many legs does a spider have? How many legs does a spider have? Question three. 
give me two features of a bird. Give me two features of a bird. Question four, what am I? I have four legs, a long nose, big ears, and my favorite food is peanuts. What am I? I have four legs, big ears, a long nose, and my favorite food is peanuts. Question five. Which is the odd one out? Human, monkey, snake, lion. Which is the odd one out? Human, monkey, snake, lion. There'll be a bonus point if you can tell me why it is the odd one out. Question one, where would you be visiting if you could see monkeys, giraffes, elephants and tigers? The answer is, of course, the zoo, but we will allow Safari Park too. Question two, how many legs does a spider have? The answer is eight. Question three, give me two features of a bird. There are lots of answers for this one, so you can see the list here. You could have wings, beak, feathers, lays eggs, warm-blooded and ear holes instead of ears. Question four, what am I? I have four legs, a long nose, big ears, and my favorite food is peanuts. The answer is elephant. Question five. Which is the odd one out? Human, monkey, snake, lion. There'll be a bonus point if you can tell me why it is the odd one out. The answer is snake, because all of the other three, the human, the monkey and the lion, are mammals. That's the end of the animal round. Well done, guys. See you soon. Let's have a game of I Spy. Question one. I spy with my little eye something beginning with E. I spy with my little eye something beginning with E. Question two. I spy with my little eye something beginning with F. I spy with my little eye something beginning with F. Question three. I spy with my little eye something beginning with D. I spy with my little eye something beginning with D. Question four. I spy with my little eye something beginning with M. I spy with my little eye something beginning with M. Question five. I spy with my little eye something beginning with G. I spy with my little eye something beginning with G. Question one. I spy with my little eye something beginning with E. And the answer is elephant. Question two. I spy with my little eye something beginning with F. And the answer is fox. Question three. I spy with my little eye something beginning with D. And the answer is dog. Question four. 
I spy with my little eye something beginning with M. And the answer is milk. Question five. I spy with my little eye something beginning with G. And the answer is grapes. Take care. See you soon. This round of the quiz is going to be all about plants. So here are your five questions. Question one, name something that plants need to help them grow. Name something that plants need to help them grow. Question two, name this plant. Name this plant. Look carefully at it. Question three, which part of the plant grows underground? Which part of the plant grows underground? Question four. Some plants produce fruit. What is this plant called? Some plants produce fruit. What is this plant called? Finally, question five. Where do plants grow best? Is it in a dark cupboard or near direct sunlight? Where would plants grow best? Is it in a dark cupboard or near direct sunlight? Question one. What do plants need to help them grow? You could have had water, sun, air and nutrients or soil. Question two. Name this plant. The answer is daisy. Question three. Which part of the plant grows underground? The answer is the root. Question four. Some plants produce fruit. What is this plant called? The answer is strawberry. And the final question, question five. Where would plants grow best? In a dark room or near direct sunlight? The answer is, of course, near direct sunlight. Hope you've done really well on that round. See you later. Good morning children, it's Miss Walton here for another quiz. The quiz we're going to do today is a shape quiz. So, listening ears on and let's get started. Question one. I am thinking of a shape and it has no corners and no straight edges. What shape am I? I am thinking of a shape, it has no corners and no straight edges. What shape am I? Question two. I'm thinking of a shape. It has four corners and four edges. The edges are the same length. I am thinking of a shape that has four corners and four edges and they are all the same length. What shape is it? Question three. I am thinking of a shape that has four corners, two long edges and two shorter edges. I'm thinking of a shape that has four corners, it has two long edges and two shorter edges. What shape am I? Question four. I'm thinking of a shape that has three corners and three edges. I am thinking of a shape that has three corners and three edges. What shape am I? Question five. This time I'm thinking of a 3D shape. So it's a 3D shape. It looks like a ball and you can roll it. But what do we call that 3D shape? 
I'm thinking of a shape and it's a 3D shape. It looks like a ball and you can roll it. What do we call that shape? Question one. I'm thinking of a shape and it has no corners and no straight edges. What shape am I? A circle. Well done. Question two. I'm thinking of a shape. It has four corners and four edges. The edges are the same length. A square. Brilliant. Question three. I am thinking of a shape that has four corners, two long edges and two shorter edges. A rectangle. Brilliant. Question four. I'm thinking of a shape that has three corners and three edges. It's a triangle. Fabulous. Question five. This time I'm thinking of a 3D shape. So it's a 3D shape. It looks like a ball and you can roll it. But what do we call that 3D shape? A sphere. Fabulous. Well done for having a go. Take care. That's the end of this week's quiz. Hope you've all had fun. Don't forget to add up your scores and let us know how you've done on Twitter. See you all next week. Bye.